we are staring 500 miles, 500 miles plus or minus uh, in the face, uh, headed from Denver to Durango. And I think uh, I've heard numbers from 70,000 to 90,000 in terms of vert. We're going to track it all um, and see what we end up doing. So uh, it's a pretty intimidating adventure. Definitely nothing. I've never done anything this big. Um, so really stoked to get out there and try it out and kind of just put all this gear to the test and put our minds to the test. I think it'll be a really cool experience. It's brutal. Uh, we haven't seen a single other bike track, so I think we're probably the first people to um, make this make this jaunt this spring. Uh, every breath's getting harder as we're getting higher, and uh, it's cold and it's getting late. So, but these are the best parts, actually. Rolling in the camp is the best feeling after a hard day riding. Um, basically, get here, set everything up, tent, sleeping bag, pad, food, eat, sleep. Six AM, day three, sunrise, more biking to be had. Top of Georgia Pass. Oof. Stoked to be up here. Twelve thousand feet, sun shining. Nothing to do with ride bikes. Couldn't be happier. Really, really fun. Had a mix of everything, super loose, rocky stuff, really hard hike of bikes. Um, smooth, grippy, tacky goodness. Um, and then arrive at a beautiful Aspen Grove with creek running by it. So we're really, really lucky. Today we were finally able to bust out 50 miles get from Copper Mountain all the way to here, almost to Twin Lakes, uh, just outside of Leadville. So it was a really productive day. Um, one that didn't look so good because we lost some time early on. It was awesome to make it this far. The knee started bugging me yesterday. Kind of got worse throughout the day. This morning, couldn't really pedal the bike. Started grinding and stuff. So smart moves just to, to bail and in the next three days are gonna be out there in the backcountry, so it'd be a bad spot to get stuck if anything got worse. Uh, it sucks to bail, it's kind of a, it's a pretty shitty feeling, especially leaving your buddies out there to go finish it and, and suffer, but have a lot of fun too, so. It's life, just gotta, gotta roll with it. Sam's knee bummed out on him. So now it's just the three of us, and uh, we're getting into the big section, so. Should be fun. A little nervous. Lots of food, lots of water. Going for it. So we're kind of taking cover and getting hailed on, as you can see. Storm moved in on us really quick. Um, downpour on us for 15, 30 minutes. It's super cold, so we just made the call to move, and uh, it feels good to get the body temperature back up.
think we can do it. Oh. Just rode up to uh, another saddle on another beautiful mountain range. No idea where I am, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This is such a unique experience, traveling with everything you need from spot to spot, moving your own house and your own bike, running into different people, uh, sharing that kinship of the trail. It's really something special.